morning guys so today is a day for just getting stuff done it's not a day for spending any time on my appearance i just wanted to spend all of today sorting stuff around the house preparing for this weekend because i'll be away for a couple of nights doing work and whatever other bits <laughs> need doing so today's a makeup free day which is probably good because my forehead's cleared up but of course now my nose and my chin have come up in two really painful spots i cannot wait to see the dermatologist i think i'm going to take it back to basics and just go back to my lizelle hot cloth cleanser and moisturizer and use nothing else you clapping clap 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 We've got nursery rhymes on in the living room and a part of the song said if you're happy and you know it clap your hands and she said yeah <laughs> you just started clapping you clever girl so as you can see we are both in our very comfy ultra soft jersey cotton jumpsuits Whoop. how has delilah got her handprints up here definitely need to clean this mirror i've at least straightened my hair today because i was like i need to feel a little bit human delilah's currently having some fun with her makeup I forgot that she had this in the box of stuff that I need to haul and um, it doesn't look like it's going to fit her much longer. It is 12 to 18 months but I find that this brand of clothing comes up quite snug. This is by a brand called The Grey Label. Not sure how long this <laughs> camera's going to stay here. We're going to head out for a bit. I don't really need to go out. I mean I can get some dinner bits and grab some coffee but um, if I don't go out I go a bit crazy. I don't like being indoors all day so that's why we're going to nip out for a bit. Are you vlogging? Nipped into Topshop because as you can see my office nude pumps um, have a pretty much had it so I spotted that they have a similar pair so I'm going to try some on and hopefully I can replace my current tacky ones. Um, I think that's my size. I don't like them as much as my other ones um, but I might get these. I think they're gonna fall apart soon. Done everything we need to do, got dinner. I did end up buying those shoes in the end. Grabbed a coffee. And now I'm gonna take Delilah to soft play because we, just, we don't have anything else to do. is so busy every day now but luckily all the kids have filtered out and there seems to be only about two or three kids here so i'm just sat in the corner like <laughs> child locks on the cupboards looks like delilah had fun this morning whilst i was making breakfast for anyone concerned i have taken all sharp objects out of this uh, cupboard um this is her little cupboard that i do let her just pull things out of to keep her entertained I get asked quite a lot about what Delilah eats. This is um, sort of the general gist of most of her lunches, unless I decide to give her pasta. Like the other day she had tuna pasta. Usually she'll have a sandwich on wholemeal 
bread just poking her food sorry darling she'll usually have um organic cheddar cheese or cream cheese or um maybe smoked salmon like she did the other day she's got some strawberries and then she has these little yeo valley yogurts these plates were a little bit of a fail on my behalf um, I bought these the other day thinking oh great they're suctioned to the top of her high chair and um, they're too big as you can see there's like little ridges on the um, sides of the table and so the plate can't actually touch the bottom of it so yeah it just kind of wobbles around but she's quite good with it and as you can see we've already been in this drawer again <laughs> look what's just arrived for us <laughs> Some of the stuff from Zoe's new lifestyle collection. Yay! Look at you! Um, Delilah, I don't think the box is for climbing on. I just remembered I had a drawer with a couple of old cameras in that I don't use anymore. And that's currently what Delilah's playing with. I think I may have at least stopped her, well, at least for five minutes, um, stopped her trying to get to this camera. Yeah, this huge box of goodies just uh, turned up at our doorstep. I have a feeling this is some of her new lifestyle stuff, which I'm quite excited to see what's inside because I like a good notepad, diary, anything stationary wise or for the house. So looking forward to seeing what's in here. Can I open the box, please? I'm really hot. I'm really hot. Probably look all greasy. I'm really warm. Don't know why. I don't know why. Oh, oh, oh. Can I open the box, Pop it. Hey, look at you. She keeps standing today. We were at um, when we were at soft play. She kept pulling herself up and then letting go and just standing there like. <laughs> Rhiannon, I have a new lifestyle range launching this week and I wanted you to have it. Really hope you like it. Lots of love. Zoe. So we've got this lovely cushion. This, which says Inspire. It would look really good on my, all the shelves that we have on the back wall over there. Pop this with my stationery. We have a plant pot. Are these plant pots? Plant pots or pen pots, whatever you want to use them for really. It's really sweet. Got this polka dot one. Apparently that's Delilah's now. And then we have this one. I really love um, the little eyelash, sleepy eye thingies, whatever you would call them. I've actually been trying to find a t-shirt with the same clothes, like eyes logo. We also have a notebook. Probably gonna use this later actually because I've got a lot of lists to make. I'm one of these people that need to make lists um, when I've got a lot going on. And we have, oh stationery book oh i like this i like this a lot i really like what that looks like i love me a bit of pale pink and gray delida and i are actually kind of color coordinated with uh, this collection because we're both in pink and gray <gasps> this is what i need <laughs> this is what i need in my life you open it up and it's a weekly planner i need something like this but everything i find is um it's always huge i would never have anywhere to put it and this is really organized and i could easily take this away with me like if i was traveling i could easily pop this in my bag in my suitcase it feels really good quality are you all right making all that noise we've got some pencils and got some quotes on um they say hugs and kisses you've got love from yours faithfully uh, yours truly um, so got little quotes on them but i love that they're pale pink oh a jewelry tray I need one of these. Zoe, it's like you read my mind. <laughs> I don't have anywhere for like my bracelets and well, I don't really have rings. <laughs> Come on, look at it. You're just standing, you clever bunny. How does, literally two days ago you couldn't even stand for very long and look at this. I know you're telling me to open it, aren't you? Mm. Ooh, there we go. <gasps> look at that. That's cute. <laughs> this is so cute. All this stuff looks like you could have bought it in Oliver Bonus. And that's probably why I like everything so much. It's a ring holder, but it's a cactus. I have to say, with all the stuff that Zoe sent us over the last like year or so, it's all like, it's not just merch. You can tell she's put thought and effort into it. And the last thing we have, 
Oh, this is very... Oh, it's got my initials on. Oh, I like this. This is like a, a little leather notepad. Yes, that's what the front looks like. It says wonderful. And it's got my initials on the front. You open it up and it's got some polka dots. And then it's just um, normal lined paper. Tell you what, I'm actually I'm really happy with these. Could you jab me in the neck? Why don't you? Hello. Delilah's just woken up from um, about a 50 minute nap. My grandma's come round to take Delilah for a little bit so I can get on with some stuff. Um, but it's chucking it down with rain outside so I don't know if she'll really want to take her out in the pram. We'll see if she might just stay here for a tea or something. So yeah, Delilah's just woken up and we've been having a snack of banana and breadsticks, haven't we? I currently have your balancing on a candle, a diary and a tripod. My gran came round but instead she stayed here with Delilah and kept her occupied whilst I got a little bit of work done. I've been faffing around on after, after Effects for the last two days trying to do this one thing. I've just about just about got there with it. Now I can just carry on doing like all the little tedious text bits that I have to do on After Effects and export those and render them and, and whatnot. Add those to my nursery tour, do a few little tweaks and then hopefully I can get that uploaded tonight or tomorrow. Doug's home now and my grandma's just left. Delilah and my grandma were just watching nursery rhymes on the TV and they were having cuddles and Delilah was trying to sing along. Are you doing some work for me? Let's turn the keyboard off so you don't do anything to my work. So it was really sweet. They were having cuddles and Delilah was attempting to sing along to the nursery rhymes. Doug and Delilah might go out for a bit. I don't know, the weather is really bad. That or Doug and Delilah will just play over there whilst I carry on getting some work done. So I've got so much to do before I leave on Friday. Delilah's already in her raincoat to go out with Daddy. A couple of weeks ago, this was massive on her and you had to roll the sleeves up and now she's grown into it. You ready to go? I'm ready. You've both got your raincoats on. Don't you look cute? Come on then. Hi. Stars peeked in to see you, and the night wind whispered, life will never be the same, because there had never been anyone like you ever in the world. I'm running around trying to get a few bits done it's hit me that I only have tomorrow to really finish off preparing for this weekend so that includes like packing my stuff getting this place sorted a little bit getting all my work um finished so getting this nursery tour up editing this vlog editing tomorrow's vlog and getting that scheduled to go up on saturday that's it work wise apart from like emails and things i've been meaning to finish off doing what i was doing with delilah's baby journal um and i just haven't got around to doing it so i think i'm just gonna tie in what i need to tie in so i've been taking polaroids 
of um, bits and bobs that relates to the stuff that's written on the pages. And then I've just been hole punching the corners and tying them into the corresponding pages. Oh, apparently I can't tie a bow anymore. There we go. And I think I have two more here for her birthday. I do want, want to do a video on this um, diary and like go through it all um, to give you guys ideas of like stuff you could uh, write about, um, things I've sort of done to personalise it. Um, oh, I was looking for this, so I was going to use this instead of um, the ribbon. So I just want to get all of this stuff cleared up along with my whole um, kind of makeshift desk area. Oh, I can't get it through the photos. Yes, done it. I wanted to use this because um, one of her presents was wrapped in this, so I just thought that was nice to use. I've just popped my favourite fresh uh, face mask from Lush on. My face has been feeling really hot and painful today. I know you can see the one on my chin and the one on my nose, but like I've got spots coming up everywhere down here, probably because I'm due my time of the month next week. I've never had it this bad. I just, I just don't know what's wrong with my skin. I know I keep talking about it, so I'll stop. It's just a bit frustrating this face mask is really lovely and cooling like it feels just nice and cold and it's making my face feel a bit better it's called don't look at me for anyone that wants to go try it out i really really like it it's half nine now i'm gonna carry on working until about midnight which is what i've been doing most nights for the last two three weeks tonight i actually don't need to work until that late i'll probably spend another hour or two sorting out the nursery tour video i say that might take me a bit longer to do the thumbnail and everything. Yeah, I'm going to try and get as much of this vlog edited as well because um, tomorrow night I'll need to get tomorrow's vlog that I'm filming in advance for Saturday <laughs> edited as well before Friday morning before I leave for Melissa's Hendu. There's lots to do so I'd rather cram in lots now and be a bit tired tomorrow than have a huge panic um, the night before I leave and feel really tired um on the friday for the first day after hindu so yeah i'd rather do it the other way around so one thing i need to do is pack tomorrow and i've looked at the weather in the peak district and it's like 10 degrees in the middle of the day and it's raining all weekend although i don't need to pack too many things because i'm not going to be there that long our our only full day there is saturday but we're doing a lot of outdoor stuff and it's raining so i need to make sure i've got my raincoat and i need to pack something warm if it's going to be that cold i just made a cheeky little order on asos to see if i can get anything to take with me so hopefully there'll be something in that order that i can take that will keep me nice and cozy for the weekend i mean i have stuff here but i mainly put an order through because i'm going to be sharing a room with someone and i only sleep in my knickers i can't only sleep in my knickers when i'm in the same room with someone because you know, the covers might come off, I've got to get out of bed in the morning, I need pyjamas. I've had to order myself some pyjamas and then I ended up ordering some other stuff. So yes, expect a little ASOS haul in the next vlog, uh, which will be going up Saturday. So until then, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Have um, a nice day or night or whatever time it is you're watching this. I'll see you in my next vlog.